hi guys and welcome to another video so today is going to be a vlog video i'm currently in with the goats at the moment um who are eating my shoelaces but firstly i think i'm going to go and ride so we'll jump straight into it let's go and ride lucy <laughs> Hi guys, Editing G here. So this is actually quite a few weeks after I filmed this video um, and I just wanted to say hey, I know I've not uploaded in a while but there are a few reasons for that. Firstly, um, things are developing with me, with work and also with me buying a house. And the other reasons are I have injured my knee so that wasn't great and I've not been able to ride in a very long time. Um, well, it feels like a very long time to me. And also, then my laptop broke and I've just had a bit of a mare of a month. So yeah, I'm hoping now to be back with more videos because my knee is healing. And also, I have a few ideas um, for videos that aren't just, you know, vlogs. So I will be seeing you guys very soon. Um, so enjoy this video and yeah. So back to us riding Lucy, so I went to go and fetch Lucy from the field and her gait has been so stubborn recently I just couldn't do it and I really was trying for ages but then luckily my glamorous camera assistant stepped in and did it for me. So before I rode obviously I needed to give Lucy a groom and pick her feet out and everything. Um, she could really do with a bath at this point but we didn't have the time so I just gave her a groom so excuse the slight muddy dirty horse um, but that's what happens when you have a piebald. Honestly you should see the state of Chili currently. I don't even want to look at him. Um, yeah so don't get greys or piebalds guys because any white horses will not stay white. Um, so yeah, I just gave Lucy a quick room today and then I started tacking her up.
So when I started riding I noticed my dad was cutting the grass which normally the horses are used to the small um, ride on lawnmower but then I noticed he had the dog with him. Now Balto um, is very new, he isn't allowed off the lead near the horses so I was shouting my dad to try and come get the dog and then he started running at Lucy so I quickly jumped off um, just in case he tried to go for her or jump through the fence or anything. He's not a nasty dog but I just wanted to be sure so that's what happened there. Now luckily Lucy was not phased by this at all, she really isn't bothered about dogs or anything because we've had them over the years um, and me shouting to get my dad's attention over the lawnmower she wasn't bothered by that or anything like that um, so she was absolutely fine so I just jumped straight back on her and we continued as normal. Now Lucy at this point had only been in work a few weeks um, due to her teeth so she still wasn't going great um, and I was just basically just trying to get her to be nice and relaxed um, and try and get her moving forward because again she's doing that little shuffly thing um, but yeah so that's what we did today. I pull into your driveway it's a Saturday night you look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade if you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? Okay guys, so I've just ridden at Lucy. She's still not going great, I'm not too sure why. Um, but I haven't ridden her in a few weeks. My mum's been riding her, um, cause I've been busy with other things. So that might be why, um, but we'll see. She was really not listening again. She was spooking again, but we are cantering, but 
she's just not going forward she's like doing everything on the spot um, which is her evasion technique so we'll see how we get along um, luckily now we can have lessons again with my trainer so I think we need a few of those to get us back on path so I'm going to turn her out now and then we'll see what else we get up to don't get bargy with me <laughs> Dolly Is this poor? Daisy. <laughs> okay guys, so this afternoon I'm going to create some enrichment for the goats. Um, so they've had some willow and now I'm going to see what else I can add to their enclosure. What's that? Okay guys, so today I'm going to be attaching some old horse brushes to this post in the goat's enclosure um, and the reason for this is because the goats really like scraping up against things, they do it against bales, they've actually already done it against this post, there's quite a bit of fur here and there. Daffodil, get off, get off, go on. So I'm going to screw these in just like I did with the pig's tree trunk in the hope that this will give a bit of enrichment and that they'll scratch up against this. What do you think? we go my little goat scratching those there's one on each side and um, they're all at slightly different heights I think this is about the right height for the goats we shall see so I'm gonna wait and see if I can get the girls to come investigate this and um, see if they use it they might not use it today with it being new but yeah so there we go they've got one on each side so there's four on here and um, for them to brush up so I've got a very small amount of the goats food See if I can tie some over here. It's only a tiny, tiny bit. We had some. Zach hasn't. Good girls. There's only a really small amount, but I just wanted to get them over. What is it? How's this? Please try out your new thing. Yeah, go on, Duff. Go on, Daffodil. You can do it. What's that doll? One thing about goats, they never do what you want them to do. Um, it's kind of an unwritten rule with them. So you can guarantee the minute I walk away, they'll rub themselves up against this, but for now, probably not. At least I know it's there. A drinking daisy. Ooh, there we go. First little rub, although you went for the highest one. Some height. Hey Daff, this is Daffodil. Daffodil, I think, is slowly becoming my favourite, aren't you? You're lovely. Right, I think I'll leave the goats to it until food time later. What are you doing? Hey up Daff. Don't you? See you in a bit girls. So for those of you wondering what I was on about um, when I said that the pigs have got scratching posts, each pig has a log in their field and if you've seen my vlog not that long ago I screwed some old horse brushes on these and as you can tell by all the like dried mud and things on here, excuse me I'm trying to make a video, thank you Mr Pig. 
Um, but yeah, as you can see, they are very well used. The pigs absolutely love these, especially Pickle. He thinks I've got food, which is why he's following me about. Um, so that's why I decided to make the goats their own little one, um, because I know the pigs really enjoy them. How are you doing, Mr. Pig? <laughs> so yeah, that's a little bit of enrichment put in for them today. We are slowly adding to the goats. Um, obviously, we change things around for all of our animals all the time just to keep them happy and keep them enriched. Um, for example, the pigs were cleaned out just the other day. So if I show you Pickle's little sty, I can guarantee there'll be a hole where he's been laid. Yeah, so he makes himself a little bed there, as you can see. But they were cleaned out the other day, so they've got lots of nice, fresh straw. Um, they're on barley straw at the moment because we couldn't get any wheat, but they've not really eaten it, so, yeah. So, since we've been said hello to Mr. Pickle, it's only right. Come say hi to Prim. Hey, Primmy. You good girl. So guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I just want to say I have got quite a few videos coming up, so don't worry, there's not gonna be a massive gap until the next video. So with that in mind, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every time I post and I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys.